Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. And today I'm going to show you how to use a group policy to rename the local admin account on your workstations. So let's get into our domain controller and let's open up our group policy management uh, window here. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see it. And we are going to create a new GPO and link it here. So let's create this rename, well, let's give this a name of rename local admin account, right? Uh, actually, we'll do also do the guest account as well. So rename local admin and guest accounts. Let's do that. Now we've got this new policy here. It's not configured to anything. Um, so now we need to go in and edit it. So let's right click on it and go to edit. And this is a computer policy. So we're going to go to the, we're going to go to the computer configuration section and go to policies. And it's under Windows settings and security settings. And I believe it is, a, there we go. Now I can pull it over. Local policies and security options. And by default, you can see in this policy, nothing is configured. So today we're going to reconfigure these two, uh, this accounts, rename ad, admin account and rename guest account. So we'll double click it. We'll define it. And I'm going to call it lab admin. You can rename it to whatever you choose. We'll click apply, click OK. And we're going to do the same thing to guest, lab guest. I don't use the um, guest account. We're going to click OK. Matter of fact, we can come up to guest account status and we're going to define it as disabled because I don't use it and I don't recommend to have it uh, configured. So we've just configured the policy. Now what we need to do is go over to our workstation, or in this case, it's a virtual machine, and we will get the policy to refresh. So let's log in here. We're going to log in as the administrator. Oops. No, you know what? I got to log, log in as lab. So now it's going to log in. Before we look, uh, before we refresh the policy, let's go to the control panel and let me show you. I, go to, I switch this to small icons. I'm used to it. It's probably old school way of thinking, but that's that's what I do. Um, let's go to administrative tools. We can ignore our OneDrive for now. We're going to click on, double click on this computer management link here. And local users and groups, users. And you can see the admin account is disabled right now, which is, which is fine. Um, I have a lo another local admin on it, uh, but it still says administrator. And some places leave this account active. It's not recommended. You really should have uh, like Microsoft Laps and stuff set up. It's a whole other video. Um, today, I'm just showing you for very basic security practices how to rename your administrator, your local administrator, and your local guest account. Now that I've shown you this, let's open up a, we can open up PowerShell today. And we're going to do GP update space forward slash force. And it may take a second. It's going to pull down the policies. It may ask you to log off or restart. And that's fine. We can do that. Okay, we had a little bit of an error here. We'll dig into that later. Uh, but I did verify. You can see now that our lab admin account and lab guest accounts have been renamed. Um, this is a test lab environment, so I, I'll have to troubleshoot what's going on with this. this. Is what happens when you're trying to record a, uh, you know, a video for for lab stuff and training purposes. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, you can see that the accounts have been renamed lab admin, lab guest, and that was done with a GPO. And it's pretty. This is a pretty basic uh, GPO to create. Not not very hard at all, um, and it's. You know, good secure. If you walk into an environment that has nothing, um, this is a good way to start implementing some security best practices. So hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos and uh, thanks for watching.